know we've all heard about this story. The traumatic cardiac arrest of a Buffalo Bills football player on national television is now shining the light on one way to save a life, CPR. When Bills defensive back Damar Hamlin collapsed after play during the first quarter of last Monday night's game against the Bengals, medical personnel quickly recognized that his heart had stopped and they got in there and started performing CPR right away. Well, Greg Brislin is with UofL Health here today. And uh, Greg, such an important topic. And Absolutely. I bet after this happened, you had a lot of phone calls from people realizing I need to I need to get classes together for my my employees or my group. Right, right exactly. Right. In uh, AED training, I had about 15 messages on uh, Tuesday morning just to have make sure that, that they could get access to the right training and the right act, uh, uh, machines to have in the facilities. You know, you were telling me some statistics as far as, you know, the, the survivability mm -hmm. of a heart attack. It matters so much when you get in there and start performing CPR right away like seconds really matter right it's critical because if we if we aren't starting cpr and getting the blood flowing and get the heart moving blood and, and oxygenated to the brain and other vital organs we're not going to have an opportunity to be able to help the patient survive for every minute uh, an individual who has a cardiac arrest it does not have cpr their chances of survival go down 10 percent mm -hmm. you know we have about 350,000 americans every year who uh, have cardiac arrest events and survivability is not very good and helping get people educated family members loved ones to be able to understand how to do cpr which is a really easy process uh, helps improve our survivability you can increase somebody's survivability rate by about 30 percent just by performing cpr i think a lot of people think oh if i'm in that situation i don't want to make it worse i don't want to jump in there because i don't know but it's it's really these are courses where you can just learn a lot of stuff, right. information in a quick period Absolutely, of time. because you know, people worry about, I'm gonna break a rib, I don't I'm break, gonna kill yeah. them, I don't wanna do something like that. If you don't do anything, then you've not helped the patient at all. Yeah. So you have to try to learn how to do something. Well, you're gonna show us how easy it is, it's because if easy. this happens around you, you know, kind of take us through what you should be doing first. Okay, well, there's two, really just two steps to be able to do CPR. The first is to call 911 to get the EMS activated because higher level of care is gonna be really important to be able to help the patient get the advanced process to help survivability. Uh, the second thing is to start CPR. You want to stay on the phone with the with EMS agency, uh, 911, and they're going to walk you through it if you don't know it, but they'll also help you stay in, in, in process, make sure you're doing okay. They're going to really talk you through absolutely. everything. They're Every wonderful. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, you brought, who is this? You, George. George. This is George. I brought Glad George. George could be here body. too. So I'm going to step out of the way here so you can uh, get to it as well. Great. But but you're going to use George to show us just how easy it is. Absolutely. So there's really just two steps, as I mentioned before. The first step is calling 911, staying on the phone with them, and the second step is just performing high quality CPR. So. If I find somebody that's down, there's nobody else around, I'm gonna say, hey, are you all right? If I can't get them on there, I'm gonna dial 911. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put my phone on speaker, I'm gonna set it aside because we wanna make sure that we're able to communicate with EMS and they're gonna be able to get to the location if they have questions, you're still gonna be on the phone. Because you don't wanna stop the CPRs to make a phone call. You Absolutely not, you start that first. Yeah, gotcha. get that going, because gotcha. we need that AED. Yeah. The second thing is you're gonna do CPR, which is high rate compressions, about 100 a minute. Uh, deep enough to be able to push the chest in and to recoil. It sounds really hard, but it's not that hard to do. You place one hand over top of the other, try to pull the fingers back. You're in the center lower part of the chest, and when you're leaning over top of the person using your shoulders, you're gonna press down. People don't click, but you'll hear the click as I'm doing it. Now the rate is hard and fast. We wanna make sure we're pushing down. Don't worry about anything happening to the chest, but as you're doing the compressions, you wanna try to keep them at a rate similar to the song Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. So, you know, ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive, staying alive. So that's the rate that you're gonna perform the CPR rhythm at, and that's all you have to do. You keep going until EMS shows up. If EMS doesn't get there early enough, you have other people who can help out. Have them rotate in because yeah. it's very tiring. It's, yeah. not, it's not an easy thing when to do. When do you need to do the breath or do you even need to? You don't to? have to do breaths anymore. Okay. This is community, community yeah. hands-only CPR. It's very easy to learn. We don't have to worry about catching anything from somebody. Yeah. But they're going to be able to Just improve to their survivability. I mean, Just yeah. start. At what point do you need to make sure you get that AED connected uh, as well? The, a a the AED. If you have that, If right? you have that, the AED is going to, we'll tell you, has instructions on yeah. the inside. But as, you, as the AED is opened up, one person will be doing CPR and the other person will be putting this, the CPR uh, electrodes on yeah. and then hooking up. And then when you start this, the AED, it will instruct you on how to perform the activities and when to stop and don't touch the patient. So yeah. you don't have to worry about anything. It's really, it's really easy to do. 
All right, I'll let you get back up here and uh, we're going to remind people of a couple of events that you have uh, going on as well because I love how you're kind of taking this to the masses and letting, <laughs> showing everybody, right? It, th there's no bigger right. stage in the KFC Yum Center, right? That's right. And we have two <laughs> events that we'll be doing in February. We will be doing a halftime at a women's game on the 12th and then men's game on the 15th. So if you're able to come out, join us. We will not have Bee Gees there, but uh, <laughs> we'll have something to be able to keep you in rhythm with it. What we'll I love about everybody. it, Greg, is that you're just showing everybody how quick and easy it is to Absolutely. learn and you can save a life. Absolutely. Right, thanks Absolutely. for coming by. Well, thank you for Thanks having so me. much. I appreciate it. So for more information, just head over to uofllhelp.org.